We're in the Lone Star State. Lubbock, Texas is the site for today's exciting college football game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Texas Tech is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. From their own 26 yard line. It's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. And that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. White will be the return man. White fields it at the 26, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Throws complete. He's got space to work. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From midfield, first down. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Drop back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. Mike 22, he's coming, 22's coming, Mike, Mike. Grabs it and hammered right there. On the throw, incomplete pass. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Texas Tech could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up. And he missed it left. No good. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 39. Here we go, here we go. 
fakes to the back. He's going to go for the home run. He hauls it in. Brought down at the four-yard line. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. They're packed in tight on the line. Looking for the corner. Touchdown, Wildcats! He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. And he adds the extra point. It was a quick three-play, 63-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's got an opening. And he's taken down at the 37. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 37. He's taken down right around the 40. Brooks picks up around three on the speed option there. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. Nice run up the middle. about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle right around the 30. From the 30-yard line, first down. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. From the 35-yard line, it's first down. Kansas State is up by a touchdown. Caught in a big hit, he stopped in his tracks. That brings him second and five. And 
And down he goes at the 28-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. The running back gets two on the carry. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. He's tackled around the 13-yard line. From the 13-yard line, first down. And he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. And they make the stop right around the 10-yard line. From the 10-yard line, it's third down. Kansas State is up a score. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. They'll bring him down at the two-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it first and goal. This is the tenth play of this drive. Looking for his man, incomplete. He tried to force it to a man that wasn't open, and boy, was he lucky it wasn't picked off. He's got to be more careful when throwing the football into the end zone. They're at the two. Second down. Touchdown, K-State. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 24-yard line. The Wildcats are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you've talked to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on, and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. He steps out around the 30-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. They'll spread the field with five wide. Complete. He's got room. Brought down at the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line. First down. Throws left. The running back's got it. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. Nice 
run there. Brooks gets about four yards on the play. Third down. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Makes it to the 47. He gets out to about the 37 yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. That'll bring an end to the first quarter of action. Kansas State's lead is two touchdowns. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 33. It's first and 10. Ball on the 33. Makes it out to about the 23. And this is the 10th play of the drive. run to the outside first down 10 to go all on the 18 yard line steps up quick strike to the back no good there's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires we're at the 12th play of the drive. Mike 22, he's coming, 22, he's coming, Mike, Mike. Zach, 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 Thunder, Thunder. And they'll get him in the backfield. He wasn't decisive at all on that option, and once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. That brings up third and 14. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. He passes it, and he lays out and got it for the score. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Boy, just a great play here, Brad, by the wide receiver. And I really think the quarterback did a good job of putting the football where only his receiver could make a play on it, and he had the hands there to haul it in for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. McNamara has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Kansas State is up seven. They get him in the backfield for a loss. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on their own 22. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield.
gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. White is back deep to return the punt. Looking for the corner. He's at the 40. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Red Raiders. Gonna get the old heart pumping. Woo! What an incredible display of athleticism and balance. The ability to turn something out of nothing. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. Texas Tech is ready to kick it away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Ward gains around three yards on the run. Second down at seven coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Taken down in the backfield. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. White. Back to receive the punt, and he is a very dangerous return man. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Tackle at the 33-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Fights forward to about the 33. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 33. And he's tackled around the 43 yard line. Seven yard line. From their own 47 yard line, it's first down. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. They try to get a head start there. False start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still second down. The penalty makes it second and 15. Cray takes it left, and they fall on the loose ball. They work hard, and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And 
And he's tackled after positive yardage. Ward picks up five with the carry. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 39-yard line. And he's hit immediately. He makes the catch and has a first down. First down. Man left, man left. Two down, two down. Black eight, black eight. Black five, black, they got yellow, they got five, 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 five. Here's a counter, losing yards. the 37-yard line. Second down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. field goal. Kansas State could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tackled for a loss. That was a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. 22, he's, he's into the open field. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Fights forward to about the 36. Call it a game of one yard. That brings up third and 12. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. Two minutes to go in the half. Steps 
It's out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Strike to his receiver, no good. That makes it fourth and four. Texas Tech can tie it up here with this kick. It's up, looks long enough, and he nails the long field goal. McNamara ready to kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. A gain of about four yards on the draw. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. And down he goes, around the 44-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 44. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Now he tries to buy some time. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. They'll bring him down at the 49. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He gets sacked on the play. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game, he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm, and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure, and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. They come out on an empty backfield. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's in trouble, and he's level at the 19. We've played a half of football. This game is all tied up, 17. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show. 
presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game? Going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Well, Reese and David, I know you're jealous. This is the kind of games you guys like to do. But that's Thursday night. This is the big show. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Makes it to the 37. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37. Makes the catch and look out. Brought down at the 43-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 43. And he tackles him hard at the 41. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play. That makes it second and eight. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Third down now, they need to get it down to the 33. And he's taken down around the 33-yard line. had a pick. The offense couldn't convert and that's going to cost him the possession. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Taken down at the 34-yard line. From their own 34-yard line. Second down. And they push him out at the 33. The defense just kept pushing the play horizontally until there was nowhere left for him to go. And 
he's tackled at the 44-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From their own 44-yard line, first down. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. Gets it out quickly. Knocked out of bounds around the 47 yard line. And here's another third down. Fires quickly to the fullback. Well, they didn't need too much on that play. And let me tell you, they didn't have any room to spare because they barely picked up the first down. Shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Got it. And he goes down quickly. This is the ninth play of this drive. Crosses to the running back, and he pulls in another one. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Look at a scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 43. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. That'll make it fourth and six. Johnson, the return man. Booming kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's tackled at the 30. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He fights forward to about the 33. That's good for a game of three yards. First down. Go 
Nice run there. Ward gained seven yards on that play. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He lost the ball, picked up by the defense. Inside the 30. To the 10. And he's finally taken down at the one-yard line. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Mike eight. Mike eight. Looks left, finding his tailback. He's still going, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. Toss, left side. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line, first down. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And they make the stop at the 32. Howard picks up about seven yards on the scramble. Quick throw to the tight end. And down he goes at the 11-yard line. From the 11-yard line, first down. They get it out there on the toss. Gets to about the 8-yard line. on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. That is a clutch touchdown. Tie game, and they find a way to put it in for six. I know there's a lot of time left, but that was a big one. And he tacks on the extra point. Kansas State lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kansas State's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, which has been so conservative, so predictable, it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. And they get 
get nice yardage on that run. They're about four yards away here on second down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They'll bring him down right around the 34. Call it a gain of three yards. Third down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Three down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Yeah. Over the middle to his tailback. Brought down around the 39-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 39. And he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. So at the end of three, Kansas State leads it 24-17. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Three down, three down. Back 22, back 22. Ready. Right, right, right. He steps out around the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. Looking for his man, incomplete. And he hits him hard at the 46. And this play is number eight on the drive. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Fires that quickly incomplete. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Kansas State is up by a touchdown. On the counter, hit behind the line. From their own 40-yard line, second down. He makes his way to about the 48. That's a team that made him play. That'll bring up third and eight. And he is drilled at the 41 yard line. White is the deep man awaiting the return. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Almost has the INT.
from their own 20 yard line. It's second down. Makes it out to about the 29. throw out to the receiver incomplete it's a great series here for the defensive side they know they've got the upper hand right now late in this game these special teams have done it before blocking punts it looks like they're coming after this one he gets it away and this is a really nice punt and he's tackled at the 38 yard line You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Kansas State up seven points. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 38. Pressured and brought down. And they'll probably try to throw here. They line up on third down and 14. Taken down around the 42-yard line. White is back to receive. He really got a hold of that one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. It's our time. It's our time. Go! 348! Go! And a quick throw. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line. From their own 35 yard line. First down. And he makes it out to about the 37 yard line. to go long and does tackle around the 22 yard line it's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air a handoff left side what a play to set him up with a first and goal quickly to the tight end and he tackles him hard at the five from the five yard line second down 
in the shotgun and five wideouts. Up the middle for a nice game. to him before he could get back to the line. That brings us fourth and goal. Big decision here for the offense. It's fourth and goal from the two-yard line. Touchdown, Texas Tech. kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Good game, 24-24. McNamara has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good. That brings him second it's second and five here. Ball on the 30. He flings it over the middle. Tipped away. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Just under three to go in regulation. level at the 23-yard line. White, back to return it. Booming kick. He's to the 40. Pretty good job by the return man there. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Got an opening. He makes his way to about the 45. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. He gets to about the 31-yard line. From the 31-yard line, first down. Looks middle, got his back. Tackle made right around the 20. over a minute in the game. He's tackled at the 17. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 17. And the 
and he makes it out to about the 17 yard line. So he decides to hold on to it and that's going nowhere. That was the junior linebacker who get credit with the tackle there. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. So it's coming down to the kicking game. This to give them the lead. The kick is up, and it's good. They're lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. The Wildcats taking their first time out of the half. Second and seven. Ball on the 28. Easy, easy. Where? Where? He's going to go for the home run. And it's caught. He's knocked out of bounds at the 21-yard line. This one's in the books, and our final score, 27-24, Texas Tech. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.